say like uh, this is not only our honor that we are really happy that uh, our two of major part in uh, which which uh, the people uh, uh, give us in the world that we are something to Bangladeshi. One is Sumaya Kaji, another one is Baby Nasi. Both of them are both These two influential person, one is motivated us by his writing, his uh, website and other thing. Another one is the singer. And we know about them. And we are proud that our leader, Mr. Abu Hani, bring them here. So, So with us today we have Mr. Abu Karhani, founder and CEO of People and Tech. And we have an award-winning young entrepreneur, Ms. Sumaya Kazi, founder and executive uh, founder of Shumazi.com and a few other uh, websites. And we have our chairman of uh, People and Tech, Farhan Ahani, and uh, most, one of the most popular singer from Bangladesh, his baby has name. Uh, Thanks to all of you for joining and sharing your valuable time with us. But People and Tech is the leader in IT consulting, training and staffing since 2005. It is an authorized training institute by the State Council of Higher Education of Virginia and partner with Microsoft, Oracle, HP and IBM. We provide hands-on IT training in software quality assurance with real-time projects. We are also certified employment agency and provide job placement after the training. We are committed to help students enter into their dream jobs. So like I mentioned, we have an award-winning entrepreneur, Sumaya Kazi, with us today. She is an internationally recognized innovator, leader, speaker, and award-winning entrepreneur. Sumaya has been recognized by Business Week as one of America's best young entrepreneurs, CNN as young person who rocks, Silicon Valley Business Journal as a woman of influence, and most of recently by UTNE Reader Magazine as one of 50 visionaries changing your world. to be here today. I've traveled in San Francisco, so a little bit far in the distance, uh, with my mother, Fatini, who's in the audience here today. Um, I'm very excited to be here. Uh, I was honored to attend the ABC conference last night uh, to win an award. Um, first and foremost, uh, I just want to congratulate everybody in the audience here today for being here and taking the next step towards professional and business um, development. Um, I've been spending the last of my career in technology. I attended Berkeley and worked at Sun Microsystems for several years where I worked and led social media at Sun Microsystems. And then I started my first company, The Cultural Connect, where I focused on South Asian issues, both in the for-profit and not-for-profit arenas. Um, and from there, I built my current company, Sumazi.com, which I started a little over a year ago. So as I've been building my business, I've learned a lot about technology, I've learned a lot about the community, I've learned a lot about what it takes to succeed in the business world, and uh, the number one thing that's needed is education, and the number two thing is support. And I think that being here in People in Tech is a very great opportunity for everybody to get the education you need, and also more importantly, to get the support that you need in order to achieve your dreams and achieve the next steps that are needed to uh, pursue um, what is exciting to you. So um, with that, thank you so much for having me, and um, I'm excited to meet each and every one of you and, and answer all of your questions. So thank you. Sumaya Kazi. We are a very successful entrepreneur. You know, you can see the finished product and you will like it. But, but behind the scene, so many things can happen. So when you see success, it's not only success. So many things you can think of. She was from business manager, a business major. 
since it is technology, she had to learn technology. Java, programming, even though she will not be coding, but she learned it. Just think about that. It's not so easy. Because of business, because of success, because of her future goal, she had to do all those things. And pretty young is. Now she is in this level. Think about another five years, ten years. So congratulations. When I came from Bangladesh, I had a degree in electrical and electronic engineering. It's a very good degree. I was also an university teacher. I also did, like, so many years ago, wrote so many books, guides, and all others. When someone did not have that much knowledge in mathematics, algebra and all others, I, I taught them very easy way. And then I was successful in there. When I came here, I had to do, I had to join in a gift shop with $3.50 an hour. Because of the environment, when I saw each and every one are working yeah. either restaurant or taxi driving or other places. I saw somebody graduated from Select Medical College. He was also with me making $3.50 an hour job. I said, you are a doctor. So well, what should I do? I brought my family. I have to help them, you know, to support. So I don't have enough money to go somewhere, do USMLA or do something, you know, work as a physician. So finally, I'm lucky. I just got out of that place, but still he was working and you know, ended up with our job. So when I was working in Manhattan Broadway, 49th Street, I was thinking, <laughs> is this the reason I came here? Obviously not. I thought that, okay, education is the first approach. Education, finishing, going to college, finish my education, that I need to do. I did my master's in computer science with 4.0 GPA. That did not give me job. I had to do Java, JTE certification, Oracle DBS certification, Sun Solar certification, and so many things. Finally, I got a job. It's a good job, $75,000, $80,000 job. Then I was trying to share my information to other people. I was telling them, I know how to get a job. One guy, he graduated that time, five years ago. Open a yellow taxi garage, spending hundred thousand dollars. So I said that yeah, I can help you out getting eighty, ninety, hundred thousand dollar job. Just follow. Is it yellow? Are, are you sure? And yeah. He closed his shop. He went to my house, stayed two months. I helped him getting eighty-five thousand dollar job. It was. It just started that. Day. Now it crossed the boundary of 1,000 people. First of all, my wife was helping me a lot, otherwise it would not be happening. Think about that. I just recently married her and then she came here, it's just one year. And then I had to invite all those people to stay in my house. Friday night, 15, 20 people, 25 people went to Virginia. Friday night, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, the bus they in, calling bell, and then, then that time I said, I said, open the door. So Saturday, Sunday, they stayed there. And then when they finish the courses, then they come here. Some people stayed in my house also. More than 300 people I placed that time without any charge. But, Eventually, I formed a company, and now 300, 400 people are taking the class in one session. It's crossed the boundary. Not only is it's not limited with my Bangladeshi community, Pakistani, India, American, Russian, Chinese, 
all other committees. It's not limited with Virginia now. It's New York. It's a little one, but in Virginia office, 20,000 square feet office. Canada and all other, every, every country or any place people can take this class. Uh, two days ago, someone enrolled from Saudi Arab. So he will be taking the class from Saudi Arab. France, Britain, Bangladesh, everywhere. So, my, our intention is to serve as many people as we can. Most of the people, you'll be surprised, and you are, some people are here also, got job, they know how they got job. Most of the people are restaurant worker, housewife, and taxi driver. Doesn't know anything. In, in computer, Microsoft Word, they had to learn here. And then step by step way, they learn all those things. Got the success. Uh, 85, 90, 100 thousand dollar jobs uh, we are providing. Think about that, 100, 1,000 people got jobs. If in an average 100 thousand dollars they are making per year, 100 million dollars they are making per year. If 20% goes to Bangladesh, 20 million dollars are going to Bangladesh because of our contribution. So, Sumazi, she was working in some microsystem, as you know that, the top notch company. Why she had to live there? Because she want to, she want to touch so many people's life. She want to share her ideas, she want to contribute to the world, whole world. And same way, we don't want to limit ourselves within Bangladeshi community. We don't want to limit ourselves for thousand people. We want to go beyond that, billions of people. You just think about that. I put my whole time in here. Why not you put two hours, three hours, okay, of your Saturday time, Sunday time, Cut two, three hours and then put towards our community development. You will see the success. Okay? And, uh, and this is uh, actually my ours, my uh, request to all of you. Thank you very much. I would say she is our role model. You know, for our Bangladeshi women, she is the role model. And uh, I'm very happy to be, you know, uh, to have Baby Appa here and Shumaya Kazi. She is actually my, you know, uh, one of my favorite singer. So definitely, she will sing a song for us today. Without anything? Any instrument? She said she is a singing bird. So bird doesn't need any instrument. <laughs> um, here, here is my, you know, all of uh, my honorable, respectable person. I really, you know, thank you so much uh, to attending and all of my students, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. That's all. Thank you. How we are feeling to be the people. I'm excited, honored, grateful to be here. Okay, thank you. Thank you.